I was watching, um, who's that really famous uh, comedy and also director guy in Japan? He's on, always on that billboard in Shibuya. Oh, um, oh Kitano Takeshi. Yeah. I saw him and he was on Japanese TV and he was reacting to this thing and it was like LGBT stuff. Mm, and right. he had never oh, seen oh. such minimal reaction in my life. He was like a bulldog, just like. Well, and, yeah. then, <laughs> and then it cut to a guy in an onsen giggling and he was like. Ah! <laughs> and I was like, well, I think I know what he likes. <laughs> like, you know. I, mean, <laughs> was, I, don't, I, I don't care for this nonsense, get that off, you know. It was just, it was just funny. I it mean, was just, it was just like, like, why, why there was like eight hosts and yeah. they refused to take the camera off him. It was just, well, let's yeah, keep him. I think Kitano Takisu though is at the point where like, he, he has a status where a it's just like, as long as he's on the show, people will It doesn't matter, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's just name matter. branded. This yeah, point, it's right? name who, branded. So do you want to explain to the audience who he okay, might so be? Okay, so Kitano Takisu or Beat Takeshi as he's called. Takeshi's Castle. Yeah, is he's founded Takeshi's Castle and that's where name comes from. But originally he was a Japanese comedian and he's basically the reason why the whole, Jesus Christ, you all right? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to talk about Beat Takeshi. You fuck. fuck. Like, drink this up. Sorry. Anyway, Sorry, go ahead. I mean, anyway, so yeah, so Kitano Takeshi, he was like, he basically founded the whole Japanese comedy scene back in the seventies. And he's the big reason why- Wait, there like, was no comedy before him? <laughs> not in Tokyo. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, com no jokes allowed. No, so in the, so- <laughs> no, the whole, wait, like, He no invented no comedy. Like, yeah. like yeah. what? <laughs> no, so, okay, so-, so so in in so the whole idea of like manzai stand-up comedy which is a very like japanese form of stand-up comedy where it's like you know one mic in the middle this keeps fucking giggling at everything it's like it's like sim it's just shut up for a second just like so basically like the whole it's called manzai which is like there's usually one mic in the middle and two people standing in front of the one mic you know Right. doing a whole comedy routine. And that was really big in Osaka or like in Kansai region. And that's just stand-up comedy. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it's a little bit different to just stand-up comedy because a lot of stand-up comedy, at least in the West is usually like one person. Yeah, right. right. Like it's just one person kind of telling an anecdote mm. and then throwing a joke within the anecdote, <clears throat> guess, right? Yeah. Like that's, you know, very oh. general stand-up comedy. But Manzai is kind of like that, but if you split the anecdote and the jokes into two different people. Mm. So basically there's one guy who sets up the joke and then there's one guy seen this. Yeah, I have seen who throws this. the punchline and then the guy who sets up the joke reacts to the joke and it's that whole dynamic. Is it like two person Rakugo? Uh, it, essentially, yeah. So like Rakugo is more similar to Western stand-up comedy mm, in that yeah. sense. Cause Rakugo is all about like telling an anecdote and then throwing in a punchline at the end. Rakugo just seems like stand-up comedy hard mode. Cause like imagine stand-up <laughs> comedy, but you have to sit in this one place and you can't move and you have limited like right. body movements. Right, exactly. But like Rakugo is like so fucking ancient in Japan. Like it's yeah. been doing it since like, I, I don't even know how long, but it's mm. very, very old form of comedy. But basically the whole Manzai type of comedy Really, originally started in like the fifties and sixties in <laughs> Why is he Osaka. Laughing? Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> you just love Rakugo that much. Huh? <laughs> but basically, that was only really a scene that existed in Osaka, and that's why yeah. like a lot of comedians they're all from Osaka. They're all from Osaka. Yeah. I do. I've noticed, and they all speak in Kansai dialect, right? And but uh, Beat Takeshi and his group, he was in a, he was in a, a duo called Tsubito. And he was basically the first like really big manzai act to make it big in the Tokyo scene. Mm. And it was because of his success that manzai moved to Tokyo as well. And like the Tokyo area. So that's why he's kind of just known as like, like a legend. Godfather yeah, he's yeah, basically yeah. the godfather of like Tokyo manzai. But he's scene. also a very good director and actor. Like, yeah, 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 Hanabi, yeah. Hanabi fireworks. Yeah, 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 yeah. They put him in Ghost of the Shell movie. He, which the dude's done everything. Like yeah. he like paints, he directs, he's like, he developed is, his own game is, once. Is, like, is, is, was he in the original Battle Royale as well? Yes. Oh yes. yeah, of course. He's, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was one of his biggest roles. Yeah. He's yeah, pretty good in that. that. Yeah. He's really good at really that. Good. He's a great actor. Yeah. He's a very good actor. Meanwhile, I'm just fucking eating chicken and broccoli every night, not achieving anything. Where's your man? <laughs> yeah, where's my man? Yeah. I didn't realize he was a comedian. That's uh, yeah, he's that's originally a comedian because yeah. I only know him as like an actor director. It's quite weird because he's this comedian, but he's also this incredibly stoic. Very yeah, I noticed yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every yeah. film, he's like, very like not I can't, no expression. I can't imagine him being a comedian because yeah. er, in every film he's played, he's like super serious, super right, hard. right, right. Like uh, yeah, you watch you watch some like old like seventies footage of him while he was still in Tsubito, and he's just the most. He was actually the guy who was like responsible for like telling the butt of the joke. So he was always the like kind the of the clown man. on the show, yeah. right? So it's really weird now watching like Ghost in the Shell, watching this like hard face serious yeah. like yes, I am the badass in this movie. <laughs> just fucking going around and be like yeah, I'm the clown. It's just I don't know. I find it really cool. That Did you like the movie? 
Mm, like's a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> I I, okay, okay. I thought it was fine. fucking shit. Okay, wait, wait what, I, what movie were you talking about? Ghost in the Ghost Shell. live action. Okay. I was, liked it as shit. I liked it if it wasn't a Ghost in the Shell movie. Right. Why is it shit, Chris? It's so boring. As, as, it, it, it as was, a Ghost the in the Shell. original anime film. Right, that's, yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. As a Ghost in the Shell movie, it was really bad. But as a, just a standalone like sci-fi movie, it was okay. Mm. I thought it was, I, I I literally walked out of the theater. Really? Yeah, because- just, Did you? Yeah, That's because- That's very un-British of you. <laughs> well, just because you like bored. I was just so bored. I like, was really bored. It was, it wasn't- I haven't watched it by the it way. It wasn't good. It oh, obviously wasn't good, but it wasn't offensively bad either. So what's it the was, what's the like premise of the film, by the way? For like, I have no fucking clue. Okay. I, I know Ghost in the Shell, but I haven't it's seen it. It's basically the first movie, but with a bit of a twist. Okay, what, oh, okay. what, what do you know about Ghost in the Shell? I've watched all of Standalone Complex. Okay, so you, you basically know the best parts of Ghost yeah. in the Shell. Okay. Don't worry about the movie. It's just a rehash. Take standalone complex, smash it into two hours and take away all the interesting things. All okay, the, and the you walked out? Huh? And you walked out of that? Yeah. Well, well, how far in were you, you walked out? Oh, uh, I was like- Did you get to like the, the first fight scene? Like with the invisible guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay. I got like 45 minutes in oh, before sure. <laughs> I realized, I'm like, I'm about to fall asleep now. Yeah. And I can be I mean, Yeah, that's, that was probably, the first 45 minutes was probably the best part of the movie. Like See, visually speaking. Comfortable, though. Huh? The seats are comfortable though. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of a nap. The second half, the way that the movie just ended where they were just kind of I throwing in the whole like cultural thing was just bullshit. I feel Scarlett Johansson was very well cast. No, no. I, I don't- Great actress, but like not, not for that role. No. Yeah, not, she, I, like, I really respect Scarlett Johansson as yeah. an actress, but she just really, she, it felt like she didn't care she, at all. There was like yeah. no movie. acting, like yeah. no one really gave a shit. It's like, I get you're, you're supposed to be a cyborg, but you know. Put, yeah. put put a little like more she, she effort did, in, she, you know? She, she did that a bit too well. Yeah. <laughs> like, so it's like the director went, uh, so you're a robot right now. And she's like, say no more. I got it. <laughs> Computing. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember really, much really. about that movie, which is I tells don't. you- I've only walked out of one movie. Uh, yeah. In the cinemas, and that was uh, Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> See, you watch I, I that in cinemas. I would not walk out of that movie. I would be like, <laughs> I would be having a great time watching Dragon Ball Evolution. I thought so too, because I watched the trailer and I was like, God, this looks like shit. I'm gonna go watch it. <laughs> how, and how? then it was so much more boring than I thought. It wasn't even like it wasn't like the so bad that it was good level. It was just really, really? bad. I thought it was Wait, fucking I've, hilarious. Oh, no, I couldn't. I think it's hilarious. Wait, Chris, have you walked out of a movie theater? I've never walked out of a movie theater. I mean, this is the only one. There was one yeah. where I just stopped caring really bad. Like very close. There was that's one life in general. Downsizing with uh, Matt Oh my Damon. God, Matt Damon. That's a terrible yeah. film. Wait, that no, I, that I is an work, airplane I movie. I couldn't work out what was going on. If it was a comedy, if it was a drama, it was just it's all over the place. I never Okay, but it. like how many times have you been to the cinema by yourself? Uh, a lot. I used to go all go the lot? time. Yeah, I used to go like once a week in London. Okay. Cause like, if you're seeing a film with mates, like you can't, yeah, you you, can't. you're oh, there no. for better or worse. Even if your mates mm. drag you to this shitty fucking Adam Sandler comedy, like I, whatever. Yeah, I mean, okay. One, I would watch this shitty Adam Sandler movie, but uh, I mean, if I've planned to do it, it's normally in the evening. And I want to admit that my evening was, <laughs> was tarnished by this film. Cause I'm still going to enjoy the popcorn no matter what. Right? right. Like, and maybe I get a little nap in as well. My text, my a few of my mates telling about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm shit, innit? Yeah. Text Chris being like, Chris, when we collab and this film sucks, dude. I don't know, like I, <laughs> I, I, I rarely go to cinemas anyway, so. Why, wow, um, I love cinemas. I love them, yeah. yeah. It's just really? something nice and relaxing and when you- Especially in Japan, like yeah. in the UK, people just throw popcorn and it's a fucking mess. I mean, that's that's horrible. Horrible. popcorn's there's so rarely, good in Japan as well. Like, there's rarely films that I think, yeah, I need to go see this now. No, I don't cinemas. think that with any of the films I watch. I just think like, I want to go to the cinema because I want the popcorn. You just, you just want the experience. You just want and the popcorn. I, and I like the experience. I like sitting down, you relaxing. Uh, Tenet? I did. I, I, I really yeah, want to like that. I, I haven't yeah. seen it, no. It is right, nothing. Well, I mean, it's- really special. Considering there's nothing out right now, I thought it was nice to what watch about something. What the Demon Slayer movie? <laughs> I'm not watching the Demon Slayer movie, See, I if, don't understand if, it. if I understood Japanese, then I would go to the cinema so much more often. Right. Because I love watching anime movies, because I'm actually in They have tons of foreign films though. 